Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and this is a, um, a question that's been asked uh, many times in the past. It's asked once again by some now, um, and it has to do with how to prepare and what happens when you upgrade to the October 2020 update. So once again, there's no official date, but it's in October that it's going to be released. In October, a new version of Windows 10 is going to arrive. First of all, it arrives differently depending on what version of Windows 10 you are on. If you upgrade to that version from a past version of 2019, um, like if you're on the May or uh, the November 2019 updates, 1903-1909, you will have a big update. It's going to be a major update because you have to go through that phase to actually get at least to version 2004. So that will be a major update, not just a cumulative update, because you are far behind in the update. If you are one of those that now are on the May 2020 update, version 2004, it's easier for you guys because it's going to be a cumulative update. So no big, you know, fancy update that takes a, a, a real long time to install. It's going to be much quicker as it will be a cumulative update only. Now, how do you prepare for these updates? Of course, I always say that a backup is important. It's very important to back up your PC. Make sure that all your files are, um, you know, on a, uh, a, either an external hard drive. Make sure that you, that, that you have a copy of, um, you know, your files somewhere. Do not take the files. That's, that's a common error I see all the time. Do not take the files remove them from your PC and put them on an external hard drive, for example. That's not a backup. You just moved your files to another place. A backup is at least two versions of the same file on two different um, areas. And that could be an external hard drive or the cloud and on your computer. Um, you know, I always say this, a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm going to lose my files. It's like it, you know, it rarely happens, but it can happen. And that's where, you know, if you have a backup, you don't go crazy because your files are, are, are somewhere else. When somebody complains that they lost their files because of some event or because of a Windows update uh, and they are mad because they lost their files, the problem is, you know, of course, it it's obvious that Windows, when it updates, needs to be careful to not erase files if possible. But the fact that you lost your files is not is more of your problem you not doing what it takes to save those files you have to have a backup i get you know from time to time somebody saying well you know it, it shouldn't be the case that we need to have backups yes you always it's always been the case since the beginning of computers and it is still today because you never know what can go wrong it could be a hardware problem your hard drive might uh, you know go berserk and you lose your files so that is a requirement that is important uh, in any case. And it's not just because of a Windows update. Um, the common question every time there's a new version is, will I lose my files? Well, technically, no, because updates save your files in a separate area of your hard drive. They update your system and they put them back where they were. And usually you are in a uh, Windows with all the files and all the programs. The other question I've got for the October 2020 update, will my PC be able to run this version? Yes, it's a cumulative update. So first of all, if you're on the May 2020 update, there's absolutely no reason the October 2020 update won't work. If you're on the past version, there the requirements for Windows 10 have not changed much over the, uh, the past a couple of years. So for the most part, any working modern version of Windows 10 that's still supported, uh, that computer will move on to the October 2020 update. Also, questions that I get asked all the time, you know, does uh, each version slow down the PC or is the October 2020 update a little slower than the uh, May 2020 update and so on? Microsoft, once again, is doing a pretty good job at making sure that all of this works well and is making a good job at keeping the performance level probably at the same level. So 
you know, if you were on um, a version of Windows 10 two years ago and you are on a version of Windows 10 today, performance, overall performance is pretty much the same. There's no real change. Some people might have increased performance because some of the new ways and new technologies that use, especially since version 2004, the, the uh, May 2020 update, might actually improve for those that are on much uh, more modern PCs with very latest technologies in it. For the rest, um, it should roll out well. And no, you're not losing your files or your programs are still going to be there. Uh, everything should be fine. And once again, this is coming in October of 2020. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.